Hey guys, Dylan from the Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Amphibia Season 3, Episode 11, titled Commander Anne and Sprivey. Anne is made leader of the Wartwood Resistance, even though she's not good at the job, and Sprig and Ivy devise a scheme to be together. I wonder why, why would they need a scheme to be together? Why wouldn't they just automatically be together from them being back in Wartwood? Unless they're on different, um, I don't really want to say platoons, but that's essentially the word that I'm thinking of. Also, as always, this site has split the episode into two different parts so I'm going to talk about Commander Anne and then I'll do the Sprivey reaction but let's get this first part started in three two one go also they really miss the opportunity to do Commander <laughs> I lost it at the end there, but at least I still remember most of it in however long it's been since I actually last saw that intro. Hm. Right, this is where we were meant to pick back up for the second half. I'm guessing it didn't stay down. <clears throat> they took the color off. Logo? <laughs> what the f Tulips. Ah, oh, right, the basement. At least Frobo can go downstairs. Hey, they took the statue.
I've just realized I don't have the subtitles on. You know, this is very similar to the rose in Dragon Fable Book 3. Apothecary. <laughs> oh, this could only barely be going worse. <laughs> yeah, of course it's got a moat. Your frogs jump. Grappling hook. Yeah, that's not going to actually work. No, she doesn't want to control you anymore. Now that went about as well as expected. Yeah, well, they've all been eaten. <laughs> I 
Yeah, no, that, that's a fitting character to give the Wilhelm to. What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> Boom shrooms. <laughs> right. Do what you need to, Logo. Ah, uh, of course she lost the shoe. Let's see if I can go back and pinpoint when she lost it. Did she have it when she woke up in... After the portal? I just gotta make... Yes, she did. Okay, next step. The centipede fight in Wartwood. Yep, still had it there. Planter House still had it. Resistance Bunker had it. Start of the mission, she had it. I'm going to guess Quicksand. Yeah, because she still had it at the start of the quicksand. <laughs> yep, it was the quicksand. Because then the um, beetle rollers come through because she's looking at the telescope wrong and she doesn't have it. Okay, so... That was about as expected from that episode, if I'm being honest. I'm, I was actually expecting more discussion between Anne and Sasha, but I can understand them jumping immediately into using the planters and that to A, boost morale, and B, their cape capable in espionage and all that so it makes sense that they'd want to just chuck them into a mission straight away and wouldn't have time i figured out about halfway through that it was because of how she was in the past as to why she was insistent that am be the leader not wanting to control her and all of that. I guess, plus, I'm just going to put this out here. 
not gonna elaborate on anything. I guess all the um, Sasha predictions were wrong. I wonder if that'll come out when she reveals that she read Anne's diary. Who knows? But yeah, it was a good episode. I feel would have been a little weak had they had it actually been the return to the show. I reckon what they did, ending it with the Christmas special and then picking it up with the half hour, return to Amphibia, that would have been the, that was the best option. I understand how, um, how good of a mid-season cliffhanger the end of Return to Amphibia would have been. However, it was also a much stronger pickup episode over at least this first half. Now, we're going to move on to Sprivey in... Three, two, one, go. I'm guessing it's they're scheming to get alone time because they don't have any between the missions and all that. Well, that goes under the whole town. <laughs> of course, Gertie's still doing a spa. Uh, it's nice seeing all these people again. No. Why do you have a crown? Well... Circle it. I was wondering the same thing, local. It's going to be like a couple of hours, Mark. You're going to screw up the whole mission, aren't you? And then at the end, they're going to realize they're going to work together in their proper formation. It's 
So cheerleading semaphore. Okay, that's a... Uh... Why do you have a boot on your head? I've just realized. It's like the guy who was using his chest plate as... Pants. I feel you're meant to be destroying them. <sighs> so she's a more. That's a no. <laughs> it's fucking... I forget which kid it is from Peanuts that does that dance. I mean, you're not wrong. It's uh, connected to the power. Okay, so third's best part of this episode. Stumpy is second best. So that bug was the...
you're a specialist. Hey, it's... Well, it's dead. Okay, well, that just amped the first half up a lot in terms of comparing it to this one. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, that was... A little hard to get through that one, but he managed. Okay. Uh, well, let's just say could have done without that episode, except for the fact that uh, a it brought in um Fern who is funny and let's go airheaded as a polite way to describe her and um it brought back stumpy sasha got to command a mission wally's dad is um bringing the whole estate's funding to help the resistance so that's handy Spryvy happened in a very... See, it's not even unrealistic, because I've seen couples like that. I'm only a couple years out of high school. I, I know people who are like that. Just every day in the halls, just almost in tears because they have to go to different classes. Then just yelling and all that when they get reunited after class and everything. Oh, it's, it's why I always took my bag to class so I didn't have to go to the lockers or anything. Well, it's part of the reason. Also, I was too lazy to walk that far, but yeah. I was not happy to have been brought back to that. But, well, it's what you're going to get when you've got an episode focused entirely on a ship that's been separated for, I want to say, two months, maybe three? Probably closer to two based on, um, just comparing it to how long Anne was actually in the Amphibia the first time compared to the amount of things that have happened with robots in the time that she was away. I reckon that it would have been a lot worse had it been more than two, three months But, well, we got through it. I would have preferred that it had been a half hour special with Commander Anne. And then we just went to the, prop, the regularly scheduled episodes starting next week. Because I reckon if they'd shown more of the actual mission um instead of just little vignettes and that you would have been a much stronger episode from the commander and part yeah so if they had have made that a full half hour episode 
and just not done the um, second half, this would have been a much better episode. But we got what we got. I don't even know if I'd say Spryvy was the worst half episode to have come out of this show because I can't off the top of my head remember the all the other episodes, but I think it's very down there. Anyway, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.